Hello and welcome back. So last time I showed you how to get power and we played around a bit with some alloy stuff and we need that again. So again we get our alloy furnace out and this time we use the silicon wafers that we made last time and we just add redstone to it. Easy enough. Now whilst that's going I'll just um, show you what we want to make. So we want to make this sorting machine here and we need Three iron on the top, two at the bottom, so it's five iron total. We need one blue yellow ingot, and I still have some of those. And I'm making these, which is the wafers with some redstone. And we need a filter. Now the filter is some cobblestone, some gold, and a piston. And also a red dot wafer. So I'll just spawn a filter in, because um, I showed you how to make it now. You can just pause it, but I will make the actual sorter. So do we have some uh, red dot wafers? Yeah, four. Cool. So we go back to the sorting. Uh, one handy tip, by the way, if you didn't know that yet, if you press the question mark, it'll actually show you in the crafting bench how to make it, which is pretty handy. So where's all my iron gone? Where has all my iron gone? There it is. <laughs> so we put the iron like that. Blue yellow ingot. Red dot wafers, filter, sorting machine. Oh yeah, cool. So I already set this uh, this up. So imagine that this is a quarry or anything, or the quarry puts items in this chest. So I've got some 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 random stuff in here, as you can see. Now this trans oops, this transpose is going to pull it out, and then we want to sort of divide it into these two chests or into macerators. It all works the same, but I'm just using chests because it's easier to see. So the first thing you want to do is have this tr uh, transposer or filter you can use, doesn't matter. Pump, pump into this sorter. Now you have to be careful, in, at least in this texture pack, this is the output where sort of the, um, the sort of weird, I don't know, they look like veins to me, but <laughs> so that's the output and that's the input. So the transposer is going to, anything that's in here is going to shoot into the sorting machine and we have to do something with it. Now there's a lot of different options here that you can choose for when you click here. I use this one. This is the random one. So it starts here. Any oh no, sorry. It starts here and then it just goes down. And this one is good because you can add a default color. So any items that you don't want to put in here will default to this color. So how does that work? So we're confusing it, I know. So let's say we have two chests. And this one we want to have for the the wool, and this one for the diamonds, and anything else we want to just pump into this chest. So we have wool, diamonds, and anything else in there. So the first thing we can do is we want wool in one lane, we want diamonds in the other one, and then anything else needs to go into into this lane and then we can assign colors so it doesn't matter what colors you use uh, let's go for white and let's go for always pick the colors that are easiest to make and I'll show you how to do that so red is a uh, blue is easy to make and red is easy to make as well Ta -da! so now we need some paint brushes and with the paint we can color these tubes and if we align them with these colors here, it'll the sorting machine will know where to send stuff. So let's look at how to make the paint stuff. Paint. Now don't use these. These are for industrial craft. Um, the ones for red power are a little bit more complicated. So the first thing you'll need is some paint cans. And because we want to have three colors, we're going to need three paint cans. So I'll just uh, get rid of those. So you need tin plates for those. Quite a lot of them as well. You need seven for each paint can. So we need 21 in total. Now this is the easiest thing to make. It's just tin and iron together into the fern into the alloy furnace. And that makes tin plates. So that's pretty easy. So I'll just spawn in three paint cans so we don't have to do that. Now when you have the paint cans, you need something that you don't need for anything else. Which is called the flax seed. Now... This uh, this super flat level doesn't have grass, obviously, but you can just get flax from grass. Just punch some grass, you can get some seeds. So, 
We'll just get some here. Uh, you can also grow them, but I don't really do that usually. Cool. And then, depending on the color of paint you want, you add um, your coloring. So for white paint, for example, you add bone meal. So one piece of bone meal. For the blue paint, you add a lapis, which is easy, or the in indigo, which is sort of the process lapis. And for the red paint, we use some rose red. So that's sort of how easy it is to make all these things. So I'll just spawn them in because that will save us some time and you know how to make them now. So we have our paint cans. Pretty easy. Then we need to make a paint brush. Uh, we actually need to make three of them. That's the easiest thing in the world. You get some wool and you get a stick. And that'll get you a, a, a paint brush. So we need three of those as well. I guess you can do it with one, but it's easier to have three of them. So then you combine the paint with the brush. And that's a white paint brush. And then we combine it with a red one, which will make a red paint brush. And we need a blue one as a blue paint brush. And these last forever, and then the paint itself lasts forever as well. So that's pretty handy. Cool. So let's have a look at our sword machine again. Let me turn off the um, horrible weather. Cool. So all the other stuff will have to go to white. The wool has to go into blue and the diamonds have to go into red. So we want the wool maybe here. And you just right click on the tubes. The diamonds were red, so we want the diamonds in there. And we want everything else in there which would be white. Now you don't have to paint the whole thing just the extensions where you want to separate the items and this wor th this machine is very smart so it's very easy to do so that's all done so all we need to do is give it a bit of juice um, which I do have wires somewhere yeah I still have wires so let's give the sorting machine some juice doink is that on? yeah that's gaining power now see cool and then we need to set up a timer for the transposer. So, do I have any wires? <laughs> it's kind of stupid. I don't have any red alloy wires. And I showed you how to make those in earlier episodes, so. So there's some gold. Now what am I gonna do with the gold? See, white, which is correct because we wanted to have it in the other chest. Now, if we just stop this for a sec, and let's just jumble these up a bit, just to see what happens. So we get some wool, and then some gold, and then some dirt, and some circuits, and that'll do. Let's set this to fast. Doink. And this sorting machine is just going to do it. So these are all have to go to... But say now we, we want them to go to red as well. It'll change it instantly. Wow. See, then the diamonds come, they have to go to red. And there we go. The easiest and fastest and most brilliant lag-free sorting machine. And it really doesn't use much power. Um, well, obviously we have too many here, but let me make it a full day. And, you know, we can just see how much power we need. I have it connected up to nine of these, but I'm pretty sure that four should be enough as well. Yeah, it doesn't use any. It uses almost no power. So great. And it's as fast as the transposer is, or a filter, or anything like. The best way would probably be to attach a filter to this, so it could pull whole stacks out. But when you have it set um, connected to a quarry, it's not really required because the quarry spits out items one at a time, anyways. So there you go. There you have your basic, well, not basic, your advanced sorting machine all sorted out. And like I said, you can put a macerator here, for example, and make sure that all the ores go in there, and then you can put them out again, etc., etc., etc. It's it's just amazing.
so cool. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.